Hello, anybody. Fix my camera a little bit. I am going to jump on the Easter bandwagon here. I haven't made my Easter cards yet. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to make two Easter cards that came to me. When I was putting some ice on the bed, I saw um, a great card that Tammy did on stampwithtammy.com, which had a large egg. But I didn't really have the means or the die cut to do a large egg. So I um, decided to go with the large oval punch instead. And these are my two cards that I'm going to make. One of them has the egg sticking out above, if you can see. And then the other one, I raised up the backing paper and put the eggs behind. So, I'm using this uh, limited time designer series paper. I'm not even sure if it's still available <clears throat> from Stampin' Up! from Celebration. <clears throat> the perfectly artistic designer series paper. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move these over here and show you how to get started. So I have a piece of cardstock. This is very vanilla and it is four and a half by 11, scored at five and a half. I did this one long ways. And then I have another piece of designer series paper that is four by five and a quarter and we're going to layer that on top. So what we're going to do is just make some punches here down at the bottom <clears throat> and do one here and do one up here and another one over this side and Somebody came in. Peaches. I'm not sure who you are there, Peaches. So anyway, thanks for coming in. If you have any questions, let me know. So what we're going to do is, for this card, we're going to do how we did this first one. So we're going to raise this one up. Instead, with some dimensionals. And we're going to do about five because we're going to need one for the middle and then we're going to put one on each of these. Making cards here, whoever popped in. And this is a really simple card because it is just a punch card. So you don't really have to do too much actual stamping. So you can probably bang these out pretty quick if you have a lot of them. I have 12 cards that I make. I'm going to do this one this way. 12 cards that I make. Nope. For um, every holiday. I did skip St. Patrick's Day this year because I just always have a difficult time with St. Patrick's Day. And I just wasn't that into it. So I said, forget it. I'm just not going to do it. So what I'm going to do now is with my paper, this is the designer series paper, so I have green, blue, pink, and yellow, is I'm going to pop one of each of these out. Again, I'm using the large oval punch. And this is really nice paper because you can do either side with this beautiful swirly side or you could use the uh, plain size which is just like a nice pastel egg so we're going to do all four of these on the, with the swirls showing so a little bit of tape and we're going to place these in when you place these in you probably have to just push them a little bit and just slightly lift your edging around just so you get the dimension of them being in the hole And just lift your edges up. And 
just, oops, just as simple as that. And then what we're going to do is I have uh, one of the eggs that I punched out and I'm using, this is from the End Many More stamp set and we're going to use Wisteria Wonder and we're just going to stamp hippity hoppity on an egg and we're going to take our sponge and just sponge the edge just to give it a little bit extra dimension. And just a little bit more adhesive. I'm gonna pop that on there. And on this, these first two, I used um, a jewel rhinestone. But on this one, I'm actually I can locate where I put it. I'm gonna use a pearl. I just got my new order in, so I'm gonna put a pearl on here instead. Hippity hoppity. Kind of like a little bunny tail. There you go. Hippity hoppity. End of story. So there you go. So three Easter cards. Again, these two are going to open horizontally. This one is a vertical card, but same concept. Just the four large oval punches punched out really in any direction. Add in the uh, egg there for your greeting. You could also stamp something on the inside if you wanted to, or you could just write yourself a little note. So if you have any questions, feel free to visit me. I'm at rachthestamper.wordpress.com or you can visit me on the Stampin' Up! website. My uh, demonstrator ID is rachthestamper. You can also, if you have any questions, send me an email at rachthestamper at gmail.com. That's R-A-C-H-T-H-E-S-T-A-M-P-E-R.com. Hope you guys have a great Easter.